Okay, one of the other tools that you need when you're operating this officer machine, and I find that so many stores do not have this, is a good digital thermometer with a probe. An infrared gun does not work. You have to have a digital thermometer that uses a probe. Um, and the reason for this is myself as a technician and many other technicians, if they know ice cream machines, and you call up and say, my ice cream machine is not making the product firm enough. And now the first question I will ask you is, what's the temperature of your product? If you have a digital thermometer, you can answer that question. If you don't, you can't. Without knowing the temperature, we can't diagnose your machine. It could be the machine is, it does actually have a problem, but 99% of the time, it's not the machine that's the problem. You know. A lot of times it's because mix has been setting in the machine too long. You didn't have a busy day. The product was sitting there. The product has a time clock ticking once it's frozen. All emulsifiers and stabilizers only last so long. So if the machine brings the product temperature down to 14 or 15 degrees and it's still not firm, then that's a product problem. And the only way we know whether it's product or machine is by knowing the temperature of the product. So this is a part of our accessory kit and it's, it's a mandatory tool for running an ice cream machine. Um, so now what I'm going to do is pour the sanitizer, which I've already pre-made, um, into the machine. And then we're going to turn it on and go through the sanitizing process. Try to do this without spilling too much. I've been working on these machines for a while now, but you still, I don't care how careful you are, it still splashes sometimes. So um, I started working on uh, ice cream machines in 1976. So I do have a couple of years of experience. Um, this is something else that you need to clean every night. This is the drip tray and the, the grid that fits in there. This is to catch any drips that come off the face plate. It's always a good, in my opinion, it's always a good idea to clean this at night before you leave the store and then recheck it in the morning. Um, right now we're gonna set it off to the side because the bucket fits up here better if we don't have it on. So now we're going to turn the machine on so that we can put it in the wash or some companies call it clean mode. Um, all that that mode does is add is runs the beater with it, it just agitates the product with no refrigeration. On this machine that is this symbol is the faucet. Which, which basically relates to cleaning. So now we have it agitating the product. Um, a lot of times people will use a brush to wipe these sides down. Um, it doesn't make any difference. To me, you have to get your hands sanitized because one of the last things you're gonna do before you put the product in there is to put this in in the hole the way it belongs. Well, if your hand is not sanitized, guess what? You just contaminated the machine. So all the sanitizers need to have contact with the, the sides of the machine, the, the, uh, the hoppers, or in the, in the freezing cylinder for five minutes. So that's um, that's the time it takes to assure that you have done a proper job of sanitizing. So we're going to let it sit there and, and run for a little bit. And then we'll start to drain a little bit out. Let some fresh go down in there. Um, a lot of times it's a good idea to hook the, hook the handle on here so that if you get busy reaching up there and and moving things around, the bucket doesn't fall off. 
All right, so we're back. We're, we're basically at the end of the five minutes, so we're gonna drain the machine out. We're gonna, I'm gonna wipe down the sides of the tanks, the mixed reservoirs, one more time as it's draining out. And, uh, and then basically we're, we're ready to put the product in the machine. This is a very high dollar bucket. It's hard to come by, but it fits perfectly. Uh, many of my customers all want the same bucket because they see it fits, fits on here very nicely. Um, it's a good thing my wife does a lot of laundry and we have these buckets available all the time, but we, were, we will probably have to start buying them pretty soon. And, and then we, will have, uh, we won't be doing free advertising for the detergent company. So now I'm going to stand the mix the air tubes up on the little the little probe that's sticking up in the bottom. That way everything we want to try and get all the water out that we can. The sanitizer doesn't hurt you at all. It just doesn't taste very good. And um, so typically I, I try and drain it the best I can. Then we're going to shut the machine off. Now, I've sanitized both hands, and I'm gonna, this is one part that some people say you shouldn't do this, some people say you do. I don't like any excess water in there. So I will wipe the bottom of it out with a clean paper towel. I don't use a terry cloth towel, I don't use anything else that can leave lint in there, and I don't use anything that's been used before. This has to be clean. Once you get all the water out, we've got our air tubes. We're going to drop them in the holes. They're still set on the small setting. And basically, we're, we're ready for uh, the mix now.